Jean-Paul Marat, one of the most radical leaders of the French Revolution. He helped increase the violence of this period by demanding death for all the opponents of the revolution. He strongly supported the revolution, which began in 1789. He believed it would improve the conditions, especially for the poor. Marat founded the newspaper Der Amis du Peuple, the friend of the people. The paper violently criticized those who opposed the revolution. During the time of August 1792, the people of Paris put King Louis XVI and his family in prison. Marat called the death for those who continued to support the king. Indirectly, he contributed to the violent mood of the public that led to the massacres in Paris in September. During the time of the Reign of Terror, Jean-Paul Marat ordered that the Girondists, a group of representatives in the French legislature, be arrested, tried, and guillotined. A woman by the name of Charlotte Corday sympathized with the Girondists and resolved to kill Marat. At the time, Marat had an uncontrollable skin disease, which led him to be immobile and confined into his own home. Charlotte Corday was able to use this advantage on July 13, 1793, and posed as a messenger from the city of Saint, stating that she had a list of names of Girondins who were attempting to take hold of the Normandy banks. Marat ordered her into his quarters, and after recording the names, he stated, They shall be all guillotined. At that moment, Corday drew out a stiletto and plunged it into Marat's chest. Because of her action, it provoked the plot results of, in which thousands of Jacobin's adversaries, both royalists and Girondins, were executed on supposed charges of treason. During her four-day trial, she had testified that she had carried out the assassination alone, saying, I killed one man to save a hundred thousand. She herself was guillotined on July 17, 1793, for the murder of Marat.